What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Darius Riddick here, AKA Riddick the Line, AKA the Elite Athlete. And today, I'm coming to you with one of the big lifts. I'm gonna teach you how to front squat. Yes, that's right. So I'm gonna teach you the different kinds of front squats, some do's and some don'ts, and pretty much getting up to it just to build that strength and get comfortable with the lift. Now, hopping right into it, okay? I wanna just put it out there that there are two different kinds of very distinct front squats, okay? Now, I'm not saying either one's wrong or one's right, but one, I highly recommend, and the other, hell nah, man, okay? So, the first one looks a little bit like this. And number two looks a little bit like this. Now, <laughs> if you can't tell which one I don't recommend, it is the first one. No, I do not recommend number one for this reason right here. Now, number one, you know, it, you see a lot of a lot of uh, good, a lot of experienced athletes doing it. Okay, and uh, if you have a lot of experience with it, then by all means go for it. But if you actually want to develop the lift the right way, if you actually want to squat the right way and build that strength from the bottom up, then one thing that you don't want to have in your way is uh, wrist impediment or weak bitch wrist, whatever you want to call it, or even just wrist injury, okay? So you want to basically have a solid foundation where you'll be able to grip the fuck out of the bar and be able to squat some heavy stuff, okay? So that's what we're gonna focus on. Not number one, number two. If you want to learn about number one, go visit somebody else's page because I'm not gonna do it because ultimately my goal is to keep you guys healthy and to teach you the right way to do shit, the most effective way to do shit, right? And that's what we're gonna do today. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are at the bar, you know, standard barbell. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you're using the correct bar, okay? You don't wanna use one of those Olympic weightlifting bars, and if you don't know what I mean by that, okay? An Olympic weightlifting bar is one that's gonna constantly rotate and bend and move around. You don't want that, okay, because you want the bar to be balanced and you don't want it to drop off or fall on you. So ensure you have the right bar, okay? Second, you wanna make sure that the bar is pretty much where you would normally have a barbell sit, okay? And that's right across the shoulder line. If you were to line it up how you normally would, it should be right there on the back of your shoulders, okay? As if you're ready to get it. For me, I suggest, when where it's comfortable for me, is right across that shoulder line, about two inches above my nip nips. Nip nip, above my nip nips, above my nip nips. When we're about to mount the bar, you wanna still make sure you're lined up exactly where I told you before, okay, right? A couple inches above the nip nips, right at that shoulder line, okay? Now you can even compare yourself to where you're at on the actual bar. Where you should be, and my shoulders are a little bit wider, but you see there's this neural portion of the bar right here, okay? And then there's a smooth portion. This is where you mostly wanna sit in your body, right here on the smooth portion, right? If your bar doesn't have that, that's okay. You just wanna make sure that you are directly even on the bar because if you're uneven, when you go to start lifting, even if you don't end up in hurting yourself, what you're gonna do is you're gonna physically uh, downplay your gains, okay? So one side's gonna be stronger than the other. You already have one side more dominant, so you don't wanna make the situation work. All right, so now we're gonna, now we know where our positioning is gonna be, okay? Now we're gonna focus on our grip, right? Now, in case y'all don't know, for some of y'all youngins, right? Wu-Tang, one of the best hip hop groups to ever, ever be in the world, in the universe, okay? So that's how we gonna start our grip, the Wu-Tang. Okay, we gonna Wu-Tang the grip, and then we gonna bring Wu-Tang together, right? So we got like this little, this little whack, the flappy flappy wing thing going on. I ain't know what to call this shit. That's how weird it is, all right? But it's gonna help you, I bet you never forget it, okay? So Wu-Tang it up, and then cross it over, okay? And that's where you are gonna be. And that's where you are gonna bring it in at, okay? So I'm gonna do it for you one more time, show you. Wu-Tang, bring it together, cross it up, flappy flappy, and you're gonna bring that grip right there, right up under the bar, okay? Wu-Tang grip, you wanna make sure that motherfucker's nice and, nice and tight, right, okay? Make sure you're still centered in the bar, your Wu-Tang grip, you know the gang is holding strong, right? I mean, they still torn, that shit's crazy, right? So, and then next thing you're gonna do, so you're standing upright in the middle, Wu-Tang grip strong, just go ahead and rock your body under there a little bit. Now you wanna make sure the bar is just right there sitting on your shoulders, right? Not too far up. You know, you're not trying to choke yourself out. And you don't want it to be all the way down here because you don't got to leverage like that. So you want it to sit right on the ball of your shoulders. Now when you get under here, you know you're under here right. When you stand up, the bar should come up with you. Okay, see that? The 
bar should come right up. Right up, nice and easy. Boom. Play and practice that a couple times. Boom. Boom. All right, now if you're uneven, say so you shift it to the left, to the right, when you come up, the bar gonna do something like that. Oh, if you're too far this way, the bar gonna do something like that. So it's a self-correcting start. Okay? We ain't put we ain't put weight on this thing yet, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show y'all how much how much control you should actually have over this thing when you do stuff right, right? Get your Wu-Tang, cross it over, flap, flap, get up in there, make sure you're nice and centered, right on the ball of that shoulder. Boom, stand up, bar should come with you nice and even, ain't tilting to one side. Go ahead and bring that bad boy forward, all right? Now you ain't got no more security, okay? It's, it's about time to work, but we ain't getting there yet, okay? We're not getting there yet. Now, take a look down here, and I'm gonna show you what my foot position looks like. All right, I know y'all already missed seeing my face, but it's okay, basically what I want y'all to see is where my feet are at. Now, if you notice, my feet are at a comfortable width, basically shoulder width apart. They're not super canted outwards, right? On no weird shit. They're not pointed inwards. They're not even pointed directly forwards. They're slightly at an angle, slightly at shoulder width, not sumo. Not too squared up, perfect at my shoulders, ready to go, right? So that's the comfortable spot. That's where we're gonna develop the most power in our quadriceps, all right? Now, if you want to develop your quadriceps and your strength with this lift, this is the position to be at, okay? Nowhere else. Change my mind, you won't, all right? So, now when I show you how to bring it all together, you're gonna see my pretty face coming to play. And I'm comfortable like this, because we here all day, all right, boom. Back on up. That's where your feet should be. I'll tell y'all before we load some weight on this thing and get the get the cracking, okay? Because when you're doing this, when you start weight loading this bar, okay, just from the sheer position of where the weight is on your body, right? There's nothing other than your arms and your shoulders from holding the weight, okay? So naturally, what the bar is gonna want to do is this. What your body's gonna want to do is this because it all works with gravity, all right? So a little pro tip, a little trick when you're doing this to avoid any back pain or you like tipping forward, right? You wanna take your elbows and flex them upwards, okay? So you wanna kinda try to point your elbows towards the ceiling. Obviously you physically can't do it unless you wanted them weird octopi motherfuckers. But you know, if you can get it as high as you can, then naturally your body's gonna keep that weight up, okay? So when you go down, if you don't point, point your elbows up, you're gonna do like this. You're not gonna be able to do as much weight. You'll see a lot of people doing it. So try to point those elbows upwards, right? Keep that form nice and tight. And when you go down, that bar is gonna stay real stable. All right, check it out, y'all. That's what it's all about, okay? Put all that stuff together, and we start developing that front squat the right way, okay? So, as you can see, I done loaded some weight on this motherfucker. All right, so what we're gonna do now is get right into it, okay? So, remember everything that we talked about. Watch me as I go through it. I'm gonna rep it out a couple times. And then again, man, if you guys like the video, if you guys uh, appreciate the squad, you appreciate what I'm doing, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and definitely more content to come, okay? Because I'm here for y'all. Without y'all, I wouldn't exist, literally. Like, I would probably, you know, just fade out. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> 